Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is currently July 1st. So that means it's time for my monthly extreme horror reading vlog. I love these. I love getting through my extreme horror TBR, discovering new extreme horror authors. So yeah, today I'm going to be, well, this week or whatever, I am going to be mood reading extreme horror. I kind of have an idea of what books I'm going to put in this vlog, but we'll see. You know, life is all about surprises for me. <laughs> so I am just going to be reading a couple extreme horror books and reviewing them. And if you like extreme horror, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my extreme horror content and reviews. So let's just jump right into the vloggy vlog, the Snoop vloggy vlog. Okay, so first things first, Otis Bateman sent me his new book, Dino Gore, and I started reading this yesterday. Today's Saturday. I just got home from work and have been filming and stuff, but um, I started this at work yesterday. I got 30, 40, 30, 44, 39, close, close enough, 39% of the way in, and basically we're following this kid, Dex, and um, he is getting bullied um, by these other kids and he kind of runs away from these bullies and goes and kind of breaks into this abandoned-ish house, a mansion that this couple owned and they died and he like escapes from the bullies and goes into this house and discovers there is a crate in there. And him and this other kid open the crate and here there's a freaking dinosaur, like a little dinosaur in there. What the hell? So <laughs> now the dinosaur gets out and starts eating children and them all up <laughs> or whatever that is. Um, it, yeah. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could go wrong with a dinosaur in modern times? I don't know. But um, I'm really liking this so far. It's intriguing. I'm curious to see where this goes. Obviously, it's extreme horror. Duh. This is an extreme horror video. Um, if you don't want to read about children getting eaten by a dinosaur, like, don't read this book. But um, it, it's pretty wild so far. So I am curious to see where this is gonna go. Dinosaurs, creature features, things of that nature. Not really my thing that I typically read, but if it's done well, it's done well. And so far, this is done well. So can't wait to update you on this one. It's super short too. It's like 90 pages. So I will probably update you once I'm finished. Hey babe, good morning. It is. I'm gonna back up a little bit. It is the 4th of July today. I have to work. I love working on the, uh, not on the 4th of July, on any holiday. I love working every single holiday because, let me tell you why, because the phone gets shut off. I don't have to answer the phone. I just have to sit there doing my little computer work and I can listen to audiobooks, I can read, I can do whatever the fuck I want, I can film, I can do literally anything and still get all my work done. It's great, I can do chores, I do laundry, I li like, ah, bitch, this is literally my dream. I need to find a job where I can work from home and not answer the phone. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below because in 2024, I feel like um, I'm gonna look into that. <laughs> I just really need my health insurance right now. Thank you very much. Um, but no, no, seriously, like I can't stand answering the phone anymore. So I just need a job where I'm left alone. I don't have to talk to anyone. No one knows I exist. I'm a very hard worker. So like I'll get all my work done. I just don't want you to talk to me, okay? Anyways, why am I on that tangent? Oh yeah, because I plan on reading today. <laughs> so, I do want to update you because I finished Dino Gore by Otis Bateman. I, what is wrong with my brain? Guys, 
I'm going on another tangent here. I haven't been sleeping. You guys know this. Well, well you probably know this. I have bad insomnia and my joints have been killing me. I'm having like a massive endometriosis flare for the past like two weeks now. So, you know, I'm getting pelvic pain, abdominal pain, rib cage pain, but now all my joints are killing me. My knees hurt so bad. When I work out, I can't bend anymore. So like I can't squat down, I can't bend my knees. They hurt so freaking bad. <laughs> my low back is killing me. My lower back and hips feel like I'm 100 years old. Like it hurts to sit in this chair. It hurts to work. It hurts to do literally anything. And I think, and like I wake up in the morning, my fingers are swollen. Listen, I'm on a whole tangent. I think it's just like widespread inflammation because endometriosis is an inflammatory condition. So I think just like the widespread inflammation everywhere is flaring my joints up. I, I have no idea, but I'm dying. Okay. Like what the fuck? I'm turning 30 and like all of a sudden all my joints don't work anymore like what the hell is this anyways <laughs> back to this dino gore this book was so much f uh, <laughs> this book was so much freaking fun it was fun it was extreme horror but it wasn't super 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 extreme definitely this is going on my list for extreme horror books for beginners i'm compiling a list and I'm going to make a video um, for people that want to like dip their toe into extreme horror but you're not sure like if you're going to be traumatized or if you're going to like it. Um, this is definitely like a beginner's extreme horror. I mean it has to do with children being eaten <laughs> but it's not like super 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 graphic. But this was just so much fun like it just reminds me of just like a cheesy like horror movie i don't know it reminds me of like an old dinosaur movie <laughs> i don't know what am i saying i don't know it was so much fun so much fun and obviously like the progression of his writing um, like his writing has gotten better and better. I just really enjoyed this. I had a fun time reading it. It's super short um, and really well done. So yeah, also the afterword made me cry. I, I don't even want to get into it. I like, I feel so bad for him. Like I just feel for him because his mom passed away and like my mom passed away when I was younger and like, you know, my dad's getting older and having issues and like, uh, I don't know. I don't even want to think about it. Um, but my heart goes out to him. It just made me upset. And um, yeah, I have empathy and feelings contrary to popular belief. So, so yeah, this book was like written for his mom and she never got a chance to read it. And my heart literally broke into a million fucking pieces. So yeah, um, at overall, I gave this book four stars, like just a really solid, enjoyable book for me, and I highly recommend. So I have to start working a little bit, but I, I can't decide what I want to read next. I might start the Jonathan Butcher book, uh, What Good Men Do, which is the sequel to What Good Girls Do. That first book was vlogged. I just threw up in my mouth. The first book was vlogged. So if you want to hear my thoughts on what good girls do, I will leave that vlog linked so you can check it out and then um, come back here because now I'm going to be reading the sequel and I want to read it for a video because I really enjoyed the first one. So I have high hopes. Oh my god. What is going on? The, chapter one and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh my god. What is he doing? Why? It's later in the day. It's three o'clock. Um, so my boss let us leave three hours early today so I was done work at two o'clock um I got 
20% through What Good Men Do While I Was Working and then I just read another 10% so I'm at the 30% mark and I love this so far. Jonathan Butcher's writing is so good. Kind of obsessed. So, um, well, I don't want to tell you what this is about. Sorry, I just ate a cookie. Oh, I don't want to tell you what this is about because it's a sequel. So I don't want to spoil anything. So I guess I will give you a little rundown of like what the first book is about and then um, kind of give you some reactions and thoughts about like this one without telling you what it's about. Does that make sense? Okay, so the first book in What Good Girls Do, like I said, I vlogged it, I'll leave it linked. Um, but basically you're following this girl, Elizabeth, and she has been held captive her entire life. Um, she's a young girl and basically from the, the time that she was like a toddler, she was held captive um, by this guy uh, that she calls her daddy and there's all these other daddies that basically like hold girls captive and abuse them and she basically doesn't know anything other than like sex terms and like she doesn't know words for things so everything is like a sexual word or a curse word like she only really knows like sex because she's been getting r-worded and abused her entire life so um, one day something happens, she gets out and we kind of follow her, um, journey after that. And we follow one of the neighbors, um, the neighbor where she was getting held captive, Serenity. So we're following those two, Elizabeth and Serenity throughout the book. And then, um, I wouldn't even say it ends on like a cliffhanger like I I don't really think that there were many loose ends to wrap up from the first book like I think it was like it could be read as a standalone like if you just want to read the first one you can you know um so I don't think that there were like loose ends or cliffhangers that I can recall that were like clear cliffhangers am I making sense um but this next book, so I'm reading the sequel, and we're following, the only thing I don't like is that we're following a ton of different POVs, and it's hard to keep track of, like, what's going on and who is who, because it's a little, like, it doesn't really spoon feed you, like, what is going on. You kind of have to put two and two together and be like, oh, that's what's going on with this person. That's what's going on with this person. And then, like, slowly things are being, like, tied together, if that makes sense. Um, but there are a lot of POVs. So, like, I'm trying to keep track of, like, okay, who is Chad? Who is Wrexham? Who, <laughs> like, I'm trying to keep track of who is who, and it's kind of, like, I'm a little bit confused, just slightly, but the writing, excellent. The story so far, excellent. I can't wait to see where this is going to go. I can't wait to see what is going to happen. This is so suspenseful so far. You guys saw me the first chapter. I was already like, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Um, I can tell this is going to get wild just cannot wait to keep reading of course you know we're still like following the aftermath of what happened from that first book and there are a bunch of new characters in this one you're kind of getting more of like the backstory of some of the things that were happening and why and some of the people that were behind some of the things going on in the first book and then of course you're still like following the same characters that were left from the first book Hopefully I'm not spoiling anything. Um, it's hard to talk without spoilers. So I'm very, very, very much intrigued to see where this goes. Like I said, I really enjoy his writing. And if you guys have any other Jonathan, Bo Jonathan Butcher recommendations, please let me know. I know he has that one like poop book. Listen, poop. I'm not a poop play kind of girl. Poop makes me throw up. <laughs> So I've been steering clear of that one. Um, if that's something that you like absolutely want to see me react to, let me know. Um, but if there are like any other books, I need to look into him. If there are any other books by him that you think I should check out, please let me know. Um, 
and yeah I will update you I'll probably update you like when I'm finished with this one because like what else am I gonna say about it I hope I'm making sense okay my joints hurt so bad I'm exhausted my body's killing me and I'm gonna go lay down and read So I just feel like I need to update you on just like life things. So I got 85% through What Good Men Do. I still haven't finished it. My plan is to hopefully, fingers crossed, finish it while I'm working today. We'll see. And then once I'm done, I'll like update you. But um, I really like it. I mean, this is looking like a four star read for me, which the first one was a four star. This one is looking like a four star. Very solid. Absolutely love it. Um, the only complaint that I have are the multiple POVs. You guys know, like I used to be a multiple POV person and now I feel like I'm kind of the opposite where I don't like multiple POVs because I get confused so easily because I'm kind of like an idiot. Um, and I just feel like still I'm like at the end of the book and I'm like wait a second like I have to think who is who and like what it it's just too much thinking for me so it's the only thing I don't like but I do really like this story and where it's going so I'm curious to see how he ends this one um and I'll let you know but yeah really enjoying it so far tonight I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done I'm going to see Bill Burr if you guys know me, I love comedy, like more so than horror. I love comedy, like stand up comedy. Um, I love comedy skit shows. You guys know, I think you should leave with Tim Robinson. It's like my favorite thing in the world. But um, I love stand up comedy. I think I've seen almost every single stand up like comedy special on Netflix. Like I love it so much. And Bill Burr is one of my all time favorite comedians. So my dad got us tickets. So I'm going with um, Justin and my dad. He got the three of us tickets. And I'm so, so, so freaking excited. It's gonna be awful. <laughs> like sitting because I sit all day at work and then sitting in the car and then sitting at the show and like sitting 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 and it's gonna be like midnight by the time we get home so <clears throat> and then I have to wake up early and go to work tomorrow so it's gonna be quite the adventure <laughs> for my body but I'm really really excited I absolutely cannot wait I love Bill Burr so much if there's one thing I love more than offensive horror it's offensive comedy okay whatever I don't remember if I gave you my final thoughts on what good men do but I did end up giving it four stars I really enjoyed it highly recommend it I don't know what else to say other than the thing that like got me confused were the multiple POVs so yeah that was like the one thing that I was kind of like what the hell but um once I got used to like who was who I ended up really enjoying this book and I highly recommend it I think both of them are just super solid extreme horror books and then I ended up I wasn't sure what to read next um I haven't really been reading much because I saw first of all I saw Bill Burr live the other day. I don't know why I just did that. It was like a microphone or something. I saw Bill Burr live. If you guys know me, I am obsessed with Bill Burr. I'm obsessed with him. He is my favorite stand-up comedian. I'm obsessed with like offensive comedy. Like offensive. <laughs> I am not easily offended. I'm not one of those people, okay? There were people, there were like these two like younger 20s boys sitting next to us. Like you know the type okay <laughs> younger 20s boys sitting next to us didn't laugh a single time like you can tell that they were offended the entire time like the offended youth nowadays you know literally didn't laugh I'm like why you know Bill Burr is offensive like why did you even come here then anyways anyways that's all I gotta say about that but anyways um what, what the hell I am so crazy so it was me, Justin, my dad, the three of us went, we had these seats like all the way 
up in the stands like in the back and this woman came up to us and she was like hey um bill burr like he wants everyone like as many people up front on the ground like in front of the stage as possible and we have like a bunch of empty seats up there do you guys want your tickets upgraded for free excuse me what it was my lucky night because we got to go sit right in front of bill burr literally right in front of him he looked me in my eyes i can die happy now i loved it it was hilarious so much fun so funny i just absolutely love him he is the man okay um, i'm obsessed with him i'm completely 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 obsessed so anyways that will be on netflix in september he said but <laughs> it was messed up some of the things i was like oh my god but uh so good so much fun so glad that we got to go um so that was that so obviously i didn't read that day and then the other night i drag Justin to Barnes and Nobles at eight o'clock at night because there's a Barnes and Noble there's like multiple Barnes and Nobles in our area but the one is closing because um they're like renovating it so they're trying to get rid of all their stuff so everything was 50% off so I only found two books which you've probably seen my haul already um and then we mostly got vinyls i never vlog in public okay i always feel weird getting out my phone and taking videos like why like what are you doing why are you taking videos in public like what i'm not some freaking famous youtuber you know um i just feel awkward i i don't like people looking at me and judging me <laughs> okay i just want to be left alone in public so that was that should I show you these vinyls that we got? I also went to the record store in my area and I got one vinyl. So yeah, that's kind of where I have been. And then today I went to um, at home and they started putting out Halloween stuff. It's July 8th today um they started putting out some halloween stuff how they're not like fully stocked but there's some stuff there that's like really cute but it's expensive so i didn't buy anything because i'm trying to be good i'm getting this stupid expensive surgery so yeah anyways let me show you the vinyls that we found and at the record store and then i we got some new ones from barnes and noble that were cheap because they were on sale so first of all mac miller i'm obsessed with mac miller okay don't judge me i've been obsessed with him since high school rest in peace i found kids i own most of his vinyls this is one i didn't have and this was the one that i was obsessed with in high school so got that and then justin got green day american idiot and dookie okay also another band i'm obsessed with slipknot i found all hope is gone and I'm obsessed. One of my favorite albums of all time, and it's orange. Cute, right? Um, so that's that. I also love Iron Maiden, and I found uh, The Number of the Beast. And then at the record store, I found Mastodon, another band that I'm obsessed with. Uh, so I found this guy there as well little final haul <laughs> I feel like you can know you like you can learn so much about a person based on like the books they read the music they listen to and the type of comedy that they like which you know I love um offensive extreme horror offensive comedy and my favorite genre of music I listen to all music but my favorite genre is mostly metal so I feel like I'm three for three on red flags there but anyways um I started a couple of extreme horror books. I just couldn't get into them. Like the writing wasn't that good. I'm not going to lie. Like <laughs> the writing was just not that good and I couldn't get into them. So um, yesterday I got some book mail from DW Hits, which I showed in my haul and uh, these covers are stunning. So I decided to try this one out. I started Larval Seeds. I got, I only got 20 pages in. It's only 95 pages. This is interesting so far. First of all, writing on on point. <laughs> so this is at least sustaining my attention, which the last few books have definitely not. Um, but this is about this 16 year old kid and his dad died and his mom's been like sleeping around and she's been inviting men over. So one night she invites this guy over and he's like weird. 
He's weird. He's a sketchy dude. And, uh, <laughs> I will spare you the details, but, like, they have sex. And ever since that, weird stuff has been happening. His mom's not acting right. This guy's weird. Their skin looks weird. Things, weird things are going on. There's weird smells. There's weird everything going on in this house now. And like, look at this. This is advertised as maggot smut from someone on Goodreads. Christina, hi, if you're watching. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, it says it's a test of desire versus love, body versus mind and man versus bug. A lot of bugs. Body horror? I don't know. I am terrified of bugs. It's like my worst nightmare. Men and bugs are my two worst nightmares. So this is just scaring the crap out of me. What is going to happen? I don't know, but I'm really into this so far and I'm very intrigued. And like I said, um, really into the writing. So we'll check this one out. And then uh, stay out of the tub is another one I hope to get to soon. So yeah, thanks so much DW Hits. I can't wait to finish reading this one and I'll update you when I'm done. I look completely insane right now. First of all, I have, <laughs> I put this post-it note here because I realize my shirt says like the exact place in which I live and like men are crazy, okay? Like I don't need a PhD to know that you're insane, okay? So that's that. <laughs> Second of all, it is 6.49 in the morning. I have to go to physical therapy before I start work. So I'm up early, had to get ready. I'm exhausted. I have not been getting ready in the morning. I've been like sleeping in until like the last possible second until I have to start work. I'm exhausted. I'm clinically exhausted. So yeah, here I am. Um, so another thing, I'm in a reading slump. Like I just don't give a fuck about anything I'm reading this month. Like it's driving me absolutely insane. So I did finish Larval Seeds and then I'm uh, more than halfway through Bad Vibrations. But it's like, that's the thing. It's like I'm reading, but I don't want to be reading. I'm just like, whatever, whatever. Because it's like, if I don't read, then I don't have content. And if I read, it's just like, I just feel like ranting about literally everything. Because I said I DNF'd like so many books this month and then not like books for this video, but like books that I'm just reading just to read. Like don't even get me started on Rachel Harrison. <laughs> like I, everything I'm reading is just annoying. It's annoying. <sighs> okay. Anyways, I need to calm down. So I finished Larval Seeds by D.W. Hits, and I liked this one. Um, I think the writing was really great. It was really gross. Like it was really just like overall disgusting. It was body horror. It was like 90 pages of straight body horror. If you're disgusted by bugs, this will freak you out. I am like completely terrified of bugs. So this was like literally my worst nightmare. Um, the only, what the hell? There's like a hair stuck here. The only thing that I had an issue with is like I wanted to know more of like the why, like why was this happening? What was wrong with this man that started this whole mess? Um, like what exactly was going on? Like I wanted to know more of the plot and like this guy, basically. I wanted to know more. And um, like I said, it was more so just like gross body horror. This is like the troop by Nick Nick Cutter, but like with just the gross parts. <laughs> but um, I did like it. I would recommend it. And the writing was really good. So I'm definitely interested in reading more from him. I went with like a 3.5, four stars, somewhere in there. I gave it four stars on Goodreads. So um, yeah, I would recommend this one if you're looking for body horror. And then I started Bad Vibrations by Lucy Littner. Um, so this book is about this 
wellness retreat so this main character you know she follows a bunch of like wellness people on instagram and they get together for this retreat with this doctor so there's this doctor who's on youtube and he like preaches about all these like wellness things and he is like setting up he does these like retreat type things i guess so they all um like travel there every so often and it's kind of like a cult it's just like one big wellness cult and they're like it's very um satirical sarcastic so i am 90 pages in and i would say the first um 60 pages it's just straight up like oh my god her vibrations are so low it's probably because she hasn't been eating enough organic kale like <laughs> I don't know it's very like sarcastic they're just all about like energy and vibrations and like whatever organic this and that and listen I kind of feel dragged a little bit <laughs> because I'm very much someone like I use all clean products I try to eat you know healthy or and organic whenever I can I'm very much like I literally think that America is trying to kill us all okay i i really do i can't speak for other countries because i live in america but i feel like the food they're trying to kill us the products the f fucking everything everything is trying to kill us the medications everything okay like i am one of those people and i don't give a shit what you think about it okay <laughs> so i kind of feel like this book's dragging me a little bit because i feel like this book is making fun of those people but like listen I'm not saying I'm like in a cult. I'm not that crazy with it. I eat ice cream. Like I eat junk food. Like I do whatever the fuck I want. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyways, um, yeah, this, they're kind of like a cult and now they started drinking blood because they think that the blood gives them like energy. <laughs> listen I'm not like this okay but um so yeah the first like 60 pages it's like oh this is pretty funny like it's just straight satire but then it hit part two and part two is just like weird like it took this weird turn with like cops and oh, I don't know I'm just not that interested in where the plot is going it's just not for me I think the writing is great I think it's funny but I think I'm noticing like the whole horror comedy thing like for me it's better in movies I like opposite movies from what I like in books and vice versa like I like slashers and movies I don't like slasher books usually I like um you know horror comedy but I don't like horror comedy in books usually like I'm very opposite you know I like super 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 crazy extreme horror books but then like the super crazy extreme movies sometimes are a little too much for me <laughs> you know like I'm very opposite so um yeah I just, it, this just took a really weird turn and like her thoughts are kind of like opposite of what they were in the beginning of the book so I'm like how did she just like change her mind and her thoughts so quickly when she was the total opposite of this in the beginning of the book so I'm just like a little confused and I don't know I just don't think that this book is for me like so far like I liked the first half and now it's kind of going downhill for me because I just don't like where it's going okay. so. hi it's like I don't know two days later something like that it's saturday i have to go to work today Ugh. i finished bad vibrations i don't like filming during the week you guys i hate filming during the week because i look so bad i literally just wake up and i work and like i don't want to get out of camera looking like that i don't even want to get out of camera looking like this so anyways that's why i haven't seen you for two days but you don't know that um so i finished bad vibrations and sadly this book was just not for me this was just <laughs> i wanted to dnf like halfway through but i was like this is so short i only had like 40 pages left i was like i might as well finish it i just was not a fan of the plot like the plot starting part two like where this ended up going i just did not care and i just you know like the first half of the book i really liked the the satire and the sarcasm and it was funny 
it was ridiculous but then it's like once we got into part two like that satire just kind of got annoying to me a little bit over the top like it's supposed to be over the top and like horror comedy kind of situation you know which I feel like is done well in movies but in books I was just kind of getting annoyed like if I had to read the word energy one more time I think I was gonna bash my brains in um so I was just kind of over it <laughs> I was just kind of over the satire I guess and I just wasn't a big fan of where the plot ended up going sad to say um I ended up giving this two stars I feel bad this was sent to me like a while ago by Bloodbound Books but you guys know I'm always honest I'm sure Lucy is a wonderful person and like I don't think the writing was bad like I would read another book from her in the future I just this plot was just not doing it for me um I don't know I always feel bad like giving extreme horror also side note I feel like this is more so like beginners extreme horror ish like if you are new to the genre maybe try this one out if this sounds up your alley because it wasn't like super 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 graphic or anything like that um but I just feel like I don't know I always feel bad when I give like extreme horror low ratings because it's different than like if I get on here and start shit talking Riley Sager you know who has millions and millions and millions of books sold and is very very successful it's like I don't feel bad shit talking their books but like when it's someone that has 30 reviews on Goodreads yeah I do I feel bad but um sadly this just wasn't for me and um yeah so that is it. I am ending the vlog here. I'm a little bit burnt out from um, extreme horror. So I'm starting my thriller vlog and uh, hopefully I get out of this sort of slump that I'm in. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.